Hey everybody, it's Brock and we are back with a brand new episode of All About. Today we have a brand new fish to talk about. There's going to be a few different kinds, a few different colorations, and a few different parts of the world, but they're all referred to as a pork fish. These are really active fish that have some great colors on them, but don't jump too fast as they can get really large, so let's make sure they're a good fit for your tank. Prices varied from what I could see online for the ones that were in stock, but the average was around $50 to get one. If you looked a little deeper, there is a specific breed that are aquacultured. So what you're going to get with that is one that's quicker to eat in the tank setting. You're going to get one that's a lot hardier, and you're just going to get an overall better fish in the aquarium. I'd recommend having a 180 gallon or larger aquarium because of their exploration personality, and they can get up to a foot long. So you talk about a fish that big, they're going to be eating a lot of food, so you want to make sure you have a large enough tank to handle that load. A typical aquarium for a pork fish should have a good sand bed, a dense rock structure on one side, but also with some open areas in the tank. They will constantly go in and out of those caves, hiding under ledges, while also swimming speedily fast out in the open and back to the back again. So they're really fun to watch, so make sure to give them good open area while also some good spots for them to explore. Pork fish are great for any level of experience in the hobby. If you're looking for a hardier fish, this is a great one to start out with, especially if you're a beginner. They do really good. They're good about eating quick, and they also have a temperament of very peaceful towards other fish, so you don't really have to worry about that aggressiveness nature towards other fish that you might want to get. With reef compatibility, it's going to be with caution. That's not because of them attacking corals. They actually won't mess with any of your corals. They're not going to like eat your brains or go after the zoas. It's because of them eating your inverts. So things like crabs, snails, shrimp, and starfish, they're going to see those as great snacks if you take the risk. So if you do have a reef tank and you want them in there, just make sure you don't have those guys in there. Or if you just want to risk it, I can promise you, over the next couple of months, you're going to see those little creatures start to disappear. The temperature can be 72 to 78 degrees, DKH 8 to 12, pH 8.1 to 8.4, and your salinity 1.020 to 1.025. Max size, they can eventually get up to a foot long for these fish, and they grow relatively fast, kind of like a grouper. We always had people that would buy those little tiny juvenile groupers like a panther that were super cute, and then a a year later, they'd want to be bringing them back because they had doubled or tripled in size or they were eating their other fish, you know, crazy things like that. So just make sure you're putting them in a really nice size tank from the beginning. Most pork fish have a silver reflective body with yellow stripes and others will have a yellow head with black and white stripes. And there's a few other variations like that, but most of the time what catches everybody's eye is that yellow coloration. They are carnivore, and the diet should consist of very meaty foods to keep their colors and their health up. Feeding things like small pieces of shrimp, even silver sides, clams are also a really good one. As juveniles, they'll really enjoy those frozen cubes like krill, mysis, and brine shrimp. But of course, as they do get bigger, you want to feed them some bigger foods for them. Their origins are around the Gulf of Mexico, the Caribbean. In other parts of the Atlantic Ocean, as well as, like I said, there are some also aquaculture ones that they breed in the U.S. Compatibility for these pork fish should be in a peaceful, too semi-aggressive tank. I would not recommend putting them in a really aggressive tank with fish like triggers or groupers that are super hard on other fish that like nip at their fins and such. They're bad about chasing fish. You don't want to put them with these because they're going to end up hiding, and they could end up even perishing if they're not able to come out and eat. The pork fish actually does best in a school together with other pork fish when adding them into the tank. So in the wild, you would usually see these fish in large schools of 20 plus, hanging up under a ledge, hanging around the reefs, looking for their next meal. So Google some images of them, you'll see this just massive pool of them sitting out there under the reef you have a large enough tank I definitely get an odd group of three to five of them to school around in there and they'll be really really happy
After that, that really concludes everything you need to know about this amazing pork fish. If you have any additional questions, please leave them down below in the comments or reach out to me on social media. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and check out my other playlists that we have now over 300 fish and reefing videos to watch. Hope everybody has a great weekend and I'll see y'all later.